Well, good Wednesday morning to you folks. Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, hopefully you had a good night's rest, ready to face the day, whatever it is that comes your way today. Um, I'm going to read a piece of scripture to you from um, 2 Corinthians in chapter 12. This is a very familiar scripture, but this is the Apostle Paul speaking in verse 7. He says, And lest I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations, there was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan, to buffet me that I should be exalted, lest I should be exalted above measure. For this thing I besought the Lord thrice, that it might depart from me. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Now, of course, we can't put ourselves in Paul's place here, his position. He's telling his story. He's telling what has happened to him. Uh, just so he doesn't get lifted up above measure. There is a messenger of Satan sent to buffet him. Three times he's asked the Lord to remove him. Three times the Lord said, My grace is sufficient for thee. My strength is made perfect in weakness. So what is he saying? He's saying that you are on the potter's wheel. You will be better when I'm done with you than you are now. That's difficult for, for us to take sometimes. Uh, we think that everything ought to be easy. Everything ought to be, I mean, we shouldn't have to suffer. We shouldn't have to have any problems, any trials, any tribulations. There should be no trouble come our way. We're Christians. We're followers of the Lord. Um, but folks, if you read the Word of God, if you read history, if you listen to testimonies of other Christians, you will find that uh, just because you are a believer in Christ, um, this shows the great depth of our faith and our confidence and our hope in Christ, not only as Savior, but as protector when we put our trust in him. Troubles are going to come whether you're a Christian or not. You know, I think of uh, this coronavirus and you're going to be a Christian and get it, or you're not going to be a Christian and get it. Either way, uh, life is life. Things happen. But in the process of walking with the Lord, we put our faith and our hope and our confidence and our trust in him. And just as the Apostle Paul, my belief is that it makes us stronger when we go through things that we have said, God, I leave it in your hands. Whether you heal me, whether you help me, whether you deliver me, or whether you don't, I'm leaving it in your hands. I'm serving you. And folks, the, the love of God shines through. I mean, <clears throat> I, I woke up this morning thinking of a song that um, years ago my dad had, a, had an old Buck Owens album, and it was all gospel music and and all the songs were written by buck owens and and he wrote this song i'm going to sing here in a minute and it just simply says it was with love um it is because of the love of god that he has drawn us to him it wasn't that i decided hey you know i think i uh i think i'm going to seek out the Lord, but it was his love that sought me out. And it is his love that helps me make it through day by day, no matter what comes my way, no matter when things are easy. <laughs> may sound funny, but I could say, I guess today, you remember a few weeks ago when things were kind of easy? <laughs> Wow, has the last couple of weeks been a little difficult? Sure, it has for me. Uh, but God is right there. He's right there and through everything that I've experienced, the strength that I have in him can only grow. There's no need to walk away from God. There's no need to wonder where he is. He's right where he said he would be. And his grace is sufficient for us. And it is 
his love that draws us to him. That's his work. It was with love my Savior drew me to him. It was with love he led me from the dark. He gave me perfect, gentle understanding. It was with love that Jesus won my heart. It was with love he worked my transformation. Without his love this wonder could not be. And understanding well my every weakness. It was with love he heard this sinner's plea. It was with love he spoke the invitation. Come follow me, lay down your tools and go. I'll love and serve my dear Redeemer always. It was with love that Jesus saved my soul. Lord, I thank you for the day you've given us. God, I thank you so much for the love that we don't deserve, but you've given to us so freely. And God, I pray that you would bless, bless those that uh, would listen to these words today. Help us to understand that just as the Apostle Paul looked at difficult times and realized uh, that it was by the grace of God that we when we are weak, we are made strong. God, I pray that you would bless today. Help us today as we look to you for continued love and grace. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, folks. See you Thursday.